This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or simply making a donation. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now then, hands up how many of you probably watch more YouTube content these days than television. Yep. And even though I can't see you, uh, I get the feeling that there's probably a sizable uh, portion of, of the audience who are also raising their hands like that. So what I thought I'd do today is give you um, five recommendations for cool channels to check out. They're all linked in the description box below so you can go and uh, take a look. Now if you're into playing the guitar and you watch YouTube stuff, then you don't need me to tell you about people like Philip McKnight or Adam Neely or you know, Robert Baker or Paul Davids or any of the other guys, you, you know, you already know about those. So what I thought I'd do is uh, just share with you some of my favourite YouTube channels, although some of them are quite big, they aren't um, necessarily as well known, just based upon conversations I have with other guitarists, as the big boys in the industry that I've just mentioned there. Four of these five are purely guitar-related music channels, and the final one isn't. It's a bit of a satirical uh, news channel that is incredibly funny. So wait until that one comes around and you'll see what I mean. And pretty much that's it. So let's crack on with the uh, channels I'm recommending. Here they are. Signals Music Studio. Yes, indeed. Signals Music Studio. This is the YouTube channel run by guitar instructor Jake Lizio. There he is in the corner of the screen. And I think this channel is probably one of the best music tuition resources that you will find anywhere on the web. It really is that good. What Jake manages to do is... Um, break down quite complex music theory concepts and make them sound accessible and usable and above all fun. I love the way that he takes um, something quite knotty and complicated and make it sound simple in a way that doesn't sound condescending or dumbed down. If you want to learn how to write great riffs, if you want to learn how to write great chord sequences, if you want to learn uh, a, just a general understanding of what you're playing on the guitar, then this channel is highly recommended. Jake Lizio, I think, is the consummate music and guitar instructor, and I highly recommend his channel, Signals Music Studio. So there you go. What's next? Guitar Works 1000. Right then, Guitar Works 1000. Uh, this is another guitar instruction channel uh, run by a guitar instructor called Andy Nicholas, who's a British expat living in Denmark. This is quite a small channel. It doesn't have that many subscribers, but he deserves way more attention than he's currently getting, um, simply because of the high quality of his output, I would say. You get honest gear reviews. You get some cracking music tuition and guitar tuition, usually based around uh, a guide on how to play this song or how to play that song. You also get um, quite frank uh, discussions of... Uh, the music industry and guitar related topics and Andy isn't scared of giving forthright and unvarnished opinions but he does it in a way which is conversational and engaging and he never seems to cross that line into just out and out hectoring rantiness which sometimes I know that I am guilty of I admit it but there you go Watching Andy's videos, it's a bit like having a, a, a conversation, a, a natter, a chat with your guitar playing friend down the pub. It's got that sort of um, engaging style that draws you in. And, you know, I, I can't often watch his videos without leaving comments underneath just to kind of uh, raise a point with him or, um, you know, kind of have a bit of back and forth. And, you know, he does reply to a lot of the comments. So, you know, you do get that feeling of being involved in the channel. Um, he's also interviewed me on his channel, which shows what good taste he has. So I thought I'd give him a shout out here. Uh, Guitar Works 1000, run by guitar instructor Andy Nicholas, a fantastically talented guy who deserves more subscribers. Go and subscribe now. Right, what's next? Trogley's Guitar Show. Right then, Trogley's Guitar Show. Now, 
I've played the guitar since 1978, but in all of that time I've never been a particularly knowledgeable gear geek. I really couldn't tell you uh, the exact date when uh, Gibson, for instance, went from a long neck tenon to a short neck tenon. I know that in the 50s, Fender guitars had maple fretboards, and in the 60s, they had rosewood fretboards. Some people can tell you the exact date when that change happened. I can't. I have no idea what the difference is between a Nashville tunematic and an ABR1 tunematic. But this guy can. He knows all about this stuff. He is ridiculously knowledgeable about um, the history of the electric guitar from the two main companies. These are the, the guitars that he tends to analyse the most, Gibson and Fender. I think he still does uh, a regular feature every Friday called Fender Friday. And basically what he does is he buys and sells guitars for a living. And... He will show you the unboxing of the guitar and then he'll have a little bit of a demonstration of it to show you what kind of tones it will give and then we'll kind of get it on the workbench and give it a bit of a strip down and take a look at the uh, what's going on under the covers as it were, get the pickups out, have a look in the control cavity, that kind of thing. And if this sounds a bit dry, trust me, it isn't. He's entertaining and he's informative and he's interesting to watch. Um, he obviously knows his stuff and I find the uh, this Trogley's Guitar Channel really, really informative and it's filled in a few holes in my knowledge of the development of the electric guitar, which models came out when and which models superseded which other model. And apart from anything else, Another attraction of this guy's videos is that you get to see lots and lots of beautiful looking guitars that you can drool over and just generally salivate over. I wish I had one of those kind of thing. So it's a great channel if you if you just like learning about guitars and uh, looking at lots of lovely guitars and hearing them demonstrated. So there you go, Trogley's Guitar Show. What's next? Nick in the States. Okay, Nick in the States. Now, this guy has a lot to answer for. And I'll tell you why. It's because his channel was the first place that I ever heard the words Harley and Benton being used together. Basically, he um, introduced me to Harley Benton guitars. I mentioned in a, a previous video a few months ago that I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Les Paul style instruments. I get one, and then it's the best thing since sliced bread because it's the new guitar, it's the new toy and the novelty factor is there and then eventually it ends up spending most of its time hanging on the wall behind me and then I end up thinking I'm not using that very much anymore and I sell it and then about a year later um, I think I haven't got a Les Paul so I end up going out and buying some kind of Les Paul style guitar and it was at that particular point when I was uh, thinking, well, I haven't got a Les Paul, I need to buy one, um, that I uh, I came across Nick in the States, where he was re uh, reviewing the Harley Benton SC450+, Plus, a single-cut Les Paul copy-style guitar. And... Um, the thing is with Nick, he's a, just a regular guy. He's a likeable, affable chap, and just his warmth and humanity comes across brilliantly in his videos. He's, he's just a, a really nice guy. He describes himself as a bottom feeder in that, you know, he does, like all of us, like well, like a few of us anyway, enjoy a bargain. He does like searching out the little uh, gems that exist in the uh, budget guitar world. I've seen him do various build projects, various different parts, caster guitars, and, you know, a couple of times when he's done that, I've thought, okay, that's a good idea, and maybe I'll try that for myself. Um, his um, reviews are completely honest. He's not one of these reviewers who, um, you know, because they've bought a new guitar and, and in, in an act of self-justification, they kind of have to big it up. You know, if he doesn't like a guitar, he'll tell you, which was the case with the Harley Benton Big Tone, the Harley Benton Gretsch copy. I was almost about to pull the trigger on one of those and I saw his video and I realised, do you know what? 
that doesn't look like a good guitar. Um, it, you know, tuning stability and not good build quality and, and so on. So I didn't buy one. So thanks, Nick. You saved me a few quid there. Unfortunately, his output is a bit sporadic at the moment, which is due to his daughter very, very sadly being diagnosed with cancer. Apparently, she's responding well to treatment. That's the latest news that he put up on his channel a little while ago. Uh, but I think it's um, beholden upon his fellow guitarists like us to go and show him a bit of support, uh, watch his videos, and, you know, that means he gets a little bit of income from them to help him through these difficult times that he's no doubt going through. Um, yeah, just go and subscribe, watch his videos, leave comments. He's a really nice chap and uh, like I was mentioning about Guitar Works 1000 earlier, uh, the quality of his channel really does deserve more subscribers than he's got so go and check him out. Okay what's next? Jonathan Pye. And finally we come to Jonathan Pye the only non-music or guitar related channel that I'm going to talk about today. Who is Jonathan Pye? Well, he's a fictitious news reporter played by British comedian and actor Tom Walker. And the whole premise of the channel is, it's like, you know when you get these blooper shows on TV showing outtakes and so on? And usually in these shows they'll show a clip of a news reporter who thinks he's off camera, who thinks the microphone is turned off, but it isn't. That's the whole shtick of this channel. He basically uh, stands there um, outside some momentous occasion, you know, he might be outside the Houses of Parliament or, you know, outside the, um, the hospital where the latest royal baby is being born, that kind of thing, as if he's doing a piece to camera talking to the news anchor back in the studio. And... You know, as soon as he thinks he's off air, he lets rip with the most brutal rants, brutally funny rants, it has to be said. It is political comedy, but it's not partisan comedy. One video, he'll be absolutely lambasting somebody from the right wing of the polit political spectrum, and then the next video, he'll be equally as vicious in eviscerating someone from the left. It's a little bit like um, a magazine like Private Eye, for example. It's just satirical nonsense and good fun. So, if you enjoy seeing pomposity being pricked and the uh, self-important uh, politicians and the great and the good being taken down a peg or two, then check out this channel. It is hilariously funny. i tell you what it's a bit like. Do you remember an old show on the BBC called Yes Minister? It's very much in that kind of vein, um, but quite a bit more sweary. Yes, Jonathan Pye, check it out. Anyway, on the subject of news reporting, um, I've got some news for you now. Let's go to that. Okay, then, I guess the main news item is um, basically a way that I'm going to be changing the way this channel is funded. Uh, at the moment, you can go down into the description box and click on the link to buy me a pint. And many people do that, and I'm incredibly grateful, and I always uh, hoist a glass and blow the froth off a cold one and toast whoever has uh, sent me a couple of quid so that I can have a little drink on a Friday. Um, I'm going to be changing the way that's operating. Basically, I'm going to go to a, a slightly more formalised way of doing things with like a Patreon-style system. Now, um, I'm not going to be saying, you know, pay me some money and then you can get to watch the videos that you can kind of see for free anyway. No, there's going to be some additional content. Um, first and foremost, you, if you pledge a, a monthly amount, you get a course of your choice. And at the moment, I have a course on modes, um, a course on entry level lead guitar, a raw beginners course for people taking their first steps on the guitar, a more advanced lead guitar course, um, a course examining the playing style of David Gilmore, 
another course all about slide guitar and coming soon there's going to be a course on a practical guide to music theory for guitar players so you'll get a course of your choice from that list and the other thing I'm going to do is um, I'm basically going to be doing a radio show uh, probably a fortnightly or monthly podcast for the um, people who subscribe and it's just going to be me playing some music and chatting about whatever's on my mind and giving some opinions and just inviting feedback and you know basically I used to have a radio show on a local uh, community radio station uh, around in the red car area where I live and um, I enjoyed doing it immensely um, and it's a long story why uh, that went basically the radio station went bust is, is the is the long and the short of it but um, you know I, it would be kind of fun to get back into doing that again it'll probably be about an hour in length and as I say it'll be once a fortnight or once a month and you know it'll be uh, there to listen to as a podcast for everybody who donates a monthly amount so that's the news and that pretty much wraps up the video for today coming soon we're going to be taking a look at the the, uh, one of my courses, uh, the uh, Play Lead Guitar the Easy Way, the entry level lead guitar course, and how that presents itself on the rather good Fret Zealot Tuition uh, device that you saw me review a little while ago. That's finally ready, and I'm you know, it's been ready since before Christmas, to be honest with you. But um, it's I've just been so busy, I haven't got around to uh, the logistics of, of getting that video put together. But I've got a couple of days next week where I can uh, devote some time to that. And that's another video that's coming up soon. If there are any topics, like for these Friday videos, where we're just kind of having a bit of a blether on and a bit of chit-chat that you'd like to see me cover, then get in touch and let me know. And with that... That's pretty much the end of the video. I do hope you've enjoyed it and found something there that you uh, found informative or interesting or whatever. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And why not give me a like while you're at it? And it seems like an opportune uh, moment to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Bye for now, folks.